Hi, Angel here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch another video. If you're new here, my name is Angel. I lost 200 pounds, fell in love with running, and now I'm trying to live the healthiest life I possibly can while being a mom. Hello, welcome to a week of workouts. Last week was kind of work of a recovery week, so I'm getting back into my workouts. I'm not really in a good mood right now, and I wasn't even going to work out today. But um, hey, working out is a, a very important part of my mental health, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do that. I really didn't want to start the video, but I know that I would regret it because this is a video that I wanted to make to motivate myself and maybe motivate some other people along the way to work out. So I, I didn't even plan a workout for today, which is horrible, but um, I'm just gonna go hop on the bike. I'm gonna pick up the camera now. And I just wanted to go ahead and open it up so that I can at least say I started my video. Yeah, I'm talking too much. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, all the painting is my dog. She wants to get out, but I'm about to work out, so we can't do that. So I'm just gonna hop on the bike for 30 minutes or so, I think. This is kind of what I need. I'm just gonna start um, looking for a class. I'm gonna get on with the business. Peloton, here we go. This is a little extra, still. Just started my ride. I'm riding with Cody Works we here. Had to do it on my phone instead of up here. I felt like I just needed a little Cody today. So that's what's up. Gonna go finish my workout. And I'll let you know how it goes when I'm over. I just finished my workout here. I just needed some Cody Griefy. He's probably one of my favorite instructors because he's always full of life and he can, he throws out the jokes and you know, like he says stuff that's funny. So I kind of needed that. It's awfully hot in this room. This is why I don't like to work out in the afternoons in here. But I, it's 2.30 and it's like wicked hot. So this is like the heat of the day, but whatever. I was gonna do like, an arm workout or whatever but I'm gonna go get ready because I gotta go pick up Ty and then she's got swim lessons this week so that's another thing that's gonna be hard for me to get all of my workouts done but um I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it also this video is gonna be what I eat for dinner in a week so um I do these workout videos all the time but um just thought it'd be nice to add in what I eat um, just for recap, I did a 45 minute, just a little pop ride. It was good. It was fun. I'm gonna take you back to yesterday when I started doing some meal prepping with my green, green chef. Is that what it's called? The green chef box? Yeah. So, hey, hope you enjoy that. And then I'll see you at dinner time. Peace out. I don't like cooking, so today, Willie is helping me make my green chef box. So we got spicy cauliflower with za'atar ta tahini and curry mangoed pitas, garlic honey chicken, and a crispy parmesan tilapia. Willie's helping me because I don't really like to cook. I, it's just like the bane of my existence. I just don't like it. I wouldn't meal prep, so big thanks to Willie for helping me cook my food today. And introducing <laughs> Not So Tiny Tot, who lost two teeth. And so she is very excited today 
because the tooth fairy came to visit her last night. So, Yay! Yes. So she is also making an appearance in the vlog. She likes to cook. Mommy doesn't like to cook. <laughs> but I like to cook for real. Yeah. Um, the carrots need to be filled? Yes. I can do that. I can peel the carrots. Trash can's full. I think I'm gonna have to stop and take the trash out because we never ever do that. I'm not allowed to cut vegetables like that because I will hurt myself. So, if you are ever under it, that's why he's doing it and I'm not because I will definitely cut my finger off. So, he's the chopper of the family. They didn't give you a lot of mushrooms, so that's a little weird. Well, almost dropped my camera there, but hey, we have successfully completed one meal. Like I said, I'm gonna meal, um, meal prepping this. I'm gonna have them just like ready so that I don't have to worry about it. And yeah, we're already starting on our second meal. So I'll let you know. So, but this is the roasted cauliflower with za'atar, tahini, and couscous. Right now, I am just pickling some onions, but I'm gonna eat these stuff that we made yesterday from the Green Chef um, Mills, the curried turkey. Kind of tasted it yesterday. It's not really flavors that I really put together ever, but hey, it turned out pretty decent. So, but I pickle onions every week because it just adds that little extra something on a sandwich, on a salad, or whatever. So. That is what I'm doing now, and then I'm going to go ahead and eat. Also, did I don't know if I mentioned, but I canceled my HelloFresh and my Green Chef um, subscriptions because Green Chef was actually more expensive than HelloFresh. Um, and I don't know, everything just costs too much money right now, and I feel like more cost effectively, it's more important to eat than to have like these delicious meals we're eating right now. So that's just where my mind is at. So maybe when the gas goes back down and things start to go back to normal, I'll go back to that. But I don't really think that the meal delivery services are cost effective at all. Or they're not budget friendly for everyone. Like I guess if I live by myself maybe, but otherwise no. What are you eating for dinner? Yeah, well, they don't, they, they can't see that. Say I'm um, Chipotle. Chipotle. Mm -hmm. I already ate it. Oh, uh, you already ate it? Nom, nom, nom. You got free cheese today. All right, I'll get you later when I actually start eating. This peace sign thing that I'm doing, I don't know. It's just like, even like when I'm talking to people in normal life, I was like, throw up peace. I don't know. I need to stop doing that. All right, so I'm going to eat my dinner now. We made this. What was it? Curry? No. Curry, curry turkey. Curry turkey. No, that was a mango. Cur uh, what's, what's, what's so this is what we made. We made the curry turkey and mango pitas. I don't know if I'm going to eat this with the pita because I'm just not in a pita mood, I guess. Mommy. 
Um, so I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna put some tzatziki sauce on it, I think, because I'm obsessed with tzatziki and some pickled onions that I had left over from last week. Yes. Yes. Okay, so that's what we're gonna eat, and she's gonna have an ice cream treat. Yay. Hello, good day. It is, today is Tuesday, and I just woke up from a 20 minute nap. And I didn't wanna work out, but I'm doing it right now, even though, because I, I'm not saying I don't wanna work out. I was just gonna work out later, but it works out best for everyone if I just go ahead and try and work out right now. So, um, let's appease the dog and give her a dog treat. Today is a strength training day. I've already picked out my workouts. Before I took my nap, I actually put my workout clothes on so that that would not be a problem. And still, I was contemplating not working out right now. It's the little things, folks. You have to try. Like, I, I allowed myself to take a power nap or whatever. And I had already changed into my clothes. So those are the compromises that you have to make with yourself to make sure that you get your workout done. Okay? That's all I can tell you. If you need to take a nap, tell yourself. Put the clothes on first. Wow, you guys, these are some big numbers. I love it. Is it UK? 900 strength classes today. Yes, girl. Come on. Let's go. Give me one more. Woo! All right. Down is that plank. Runners. And we do this. Three, two, one. Let's go. Eight. Anticipated, but here is my I forget what it's called garlic honey chicken that's what I made tonight so I needed to make it though because I wouldn't have any food to eat tomorrow so here we go honey garlic chicken it smells good the sauce tastes good so I already know that I like couscous so can't go wrong with so that is what is for dinner tonight I'll see you tomorrow Hi, happy Wednesday. Angela here, of course, because you're already still watching my video. It is Wednesday, like I just said, and I really wanted to run outside today. But um, I just, it's really, really hot, and for me to go run outside, then I would have to do it. Uh, the other day I went running on the trail, and now my shoes are like all messed up. But whatever, okay, anyway. Um, but for me to do that, then I'd have to wait till way later, and I just don't want to. I feel like that that's, I don't know. It's just 
whatever. I'm just gonna run on the treadmill. That's why I basically have the treadmill for these hot months where I need to do my workouts. Um, I'm doing a little speed workout today. I'm gonna do um, a 35 minute workout, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off type of speed workout for 25 minutes and then I'll just finish it off. But I do some stretching and go on about my business. So, I'm trying to hurry because another thing that is making this week stressful is the swimming lessons. We have to meet at swim lessons by a certain time and you can't be late. So, that's actually adding a little bit more difficulty to the week, but I'm getting it done. Today is also a pace line day. I get a $5 gift certificate to Starbucks or um, Starbucks, Target, or somewhere else. I don't know, I think they add Chipotle. So if you are not familiar with pace line, I'll link it down below. But you basically get paid for working out and that's always fun. Anyway, let me go ahead and get started because it is all ready. currently dinner time and I'm about to fix my salad. I was going to um, eat another Green Chef meal but I'm kind of tired right now. So I'm going to go ahead and make a salad right here. These are just the salads that I usually eat for breakfast but um, I'm gonna eat them. I'm gonna eat it right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this up with some pickled onions and some Bolt House Farms um, this is the reason I don't like this camera. Some Bolt House Farms um, dressing. So, but I also wanted to show y'all. First off, Willie just went to the grocery store and bought me another salad because I'm eating one right now. But this is the best thing ever. It is a salad chopper. You just put it in the bowl and then it chops up your salad. I got it at a school fundraiser and it was the best 10 bucks I've ever spent. But um, like I said, let me put my salad chopper down. I'm gonna do some pickled onions. These are the same ones I made the other day. Mom, why and so much juice inside? I'm going to put some tomatoes in there and call it a dinner. I like to eat my salads in the biggest bowl possible, just, you know, so that I can get everything mixed together. So, that's just what I'm going for. This, bend, this bending over thing is just not working for me, but hey, this is the best angle I can give you. Because you've never seen anyone make a salad before. Woo! Just a basic Caesar salad happening right here. I can't get it open. Got a little bit of chicken in it. Just, I have to inspect it. I did buy it on Sunday, so. Right here is the chopping of the salad. Can you see it? Just cuts everything up into bite sized pieces. So now everything is perfectly chopped up and we can eat dinner now, so. Nothing exciting happening here tonight, but I am eating a chicken Caesar salad with pickled onions and Bolt House Farms dressing. This is the Bolt House Farms dressing that I will be eating tonight. It is the Classic Ranch. So, that was today. Thank you so much for following along, and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is a rest day, though, so I'm not really sure that I will be working out. Hopefully... This will motivate me to do like some stretching or something like that instead of doing a full on 
workout. But I'll see you tomorrow for maybe some stretching and dinner time. Doing that for you, set you up for success. We've got a lovely stretch, upper body focus. Let's move it slowly towards the right and slowly to the left. The back of the legs there. If you want to deepen that stretch, just grab the back of your ankles and just pull your head in. Oh, yeah. Fifteen seconds in. All right, I did my stretches even though I didn't want to. I actually debated not doing it. So thank you for being motivation for me to do my stretches because of this video. So otherwise, I think I walked around and I was like, I'm not going to do it. But I ended up doing it and I actually feel much better. Anyway, so tonight's dinner is basically going to be the same as yesterday's dinner. What are you eating for dinner? Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. With strawberries. With strawberries. So that's what she's eating for dinner. Yes. But um, tonight's dinner is basically going to be the same as last night's dinner because that's what I'm... It's speaking to me. Let's just say that. Um, we were going to go to Chipotle, but Chipotle was out of tortillas. And um, which I wouldn't eat a tortilla, but they were also out of brown rice and the fresh tomato salsa and corn salsa. So that was like half my bowl. Not interested. So hopefully Chipotle will get their business together tomorrow. I'm eating a salad again. Again, mommy? Yes, I'm eating a salad again. Wait, and salad's gross for your health. No, salad is not gross for your health. I mean, everyone may not want to eat salad every day, but right now, I guess maybe because it's so hot outside that I'm digging the salads. So I'm just gonna roll with it and eat my salad. And that is today. Today was a nice rest day. I didn't feel hurried. I felt in control of everything. I don't know, today was just like a really, really good day. That's all I can say. I don't know, sometimes I feel stressed to work out, but it's not like the actual stress of working out. I guess it's fitting it in before in the time frame that I have and then that kind of stresses me out which in turn sometimes makes working out not fun and I mean working out is not always fun but on some days it's hard and that's usually what it is it's because I'm trying to squeeze it in but um yeah rest day tomorrow I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do because it is so stinking hot outside it was all like this morning at 6 30 it was already 80 degrees um so I don't really know if I'm going to go out and run. I'm going to try and wake up early and go on the treadmill and then go for like 45 minutes on the treadmill and maybe do 30 minutes outside and say that I did a long run. Um, so that's going to be the plan. Now, am I going to be able to get up and do that? Maybe not, but I guess I could go outside and do 30 minutes and then come back home and finish the rest on the treadmill. That's always an option too. No excuses, right? But that will be for tomorrow. So let's see. Comment down below. What do you think I want to do? Wake up early, get on the treadmill, and then finish outside or Mommy. start outside and then finish on the treadmill. Comment down below. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. It's 4.15 a.m. I did it. Now I have to get started. I have no idea where my other camera is. So. No footage today, so we in trouble. finished my workout this morning sorry very time constraining I'm actually still need to get my child ready for school but I was so excited to finish that I felt good I felt strong I'm glad that I got it done um, at 5 30 in the morning it was 77 degrees so I can't imagine what it's gonna be like when I actually would have been able to go out and run and sometimes it's better just to save yourself instead of just trying to get the miles, you know? That's why I have the treadmill and I'm gonna enjoy having it, I guess. So, treadmill's not always fun, but it comes in handy. 
yeah so that was my workout today i did um i just did an hour it was supposed to be an hour and 15 minutes i did an hour and 17 minutes i did two peloton classes i'm so excited because peloton is adding longer classes i have when i searched for 60 minute classes they had a whole bunch of new ones so that was really exciting so i did a pop run with bex gentry and then i did an extra mile class with um olivia amato i'm gonna try and link everything down below because hey if you need peloton classes i do a peloton class every single day um running um strength training whatever meditation whatever it is i do one every single day and i have for almost a year and a half so um stretching whatever all of those classes are peloton classes for me um i got this ultima replenisher it's not really focusing this ultima replenisher right here i did a campaign with them last year i think that was last year and so i ended up just purchasing some um i really wanted the um the mocktail flavors because that's what my campaign was on last year but they don't have any but this is zero calories zero carbs zero sugar so and it's a watermelon electrolyte drink and definitely need this during the summertime so just went ahead and bought this they it comes in like this little pack or you can buy sticks for on the go um i'm just trying to try a whole bunch of different flavors because like i said all i tried was the mocktail flavors and they're sold out so now i'm trying to see which ones i want to buy in six and which ones i want to buy in here in these little containers this container was like 17 dollars the sticks are probably about the same but you don't get as many servings i think that this is like 30 servings maybe we'll see All right, here's the official taste test. My ultimate replenisher in my noon bottle. How fitting. It's good. So, I'm gonna try this all summer. I'm gonna be an ultimate replenisher girl. All right, y'all are probably gonna think that I'm the most boring, basic person ever, but I'm gonna eat another salad because that's all I have to eat. And, well, we're going to the movies at 6.10. You can't even see me. Yeah, we're going to the movies at 6.10. Yeah, we're going to the movies at 6.10. And with previews and all that other stuff. And by the time we get out of the movie, it's going to be like 8. After 8. And, you know, this movie is right in the middle of my dinner time. Yeah, I'm making a whole bunch of rac ruckus here. So, I'm just going to eat the same salad that I've been eating for the past two days. Yay! And that's what I'm eating for dinner. I also bought some Welch's fruit snacks. So I'm going to sneak in in my purse and eat these during the movie. Because sometimes you just need a snack during the movie. Yep. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, that's dinner. I have to hurry up and eat because we need to leave shortly. At, it's 520 right now. So the movie starts at 610. All right, peace out. I came outside today. <sighs> took me a minute to get out of the house <sighs> couldn't wake up and time was just taken away <sighs> it's supposed to be really hot today so i probably have about 30 minutes left before it gets super hot <sighs> I just finished my run. It was a recovery run. So it wasn't whatever. I very easily could have done this on the treadmill. 
I don't want to get outside. But like I said, I was having a hard time getting up this morning. I stayed up a little later because we went to the movies and saw Top Gun last night, which was fantastic. I don't want to be basic or anything, but it's one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. Like, totally fulfilled. I did not like the first Top Gun, or like, obviously wasn't in love with it. But yeah, anyway, so I woke up at 4.30. I was gonna get out and do it. Then I was like, no, I'll do it at 5.30. Then I ended up not doing it. Those people were just looking at me really funny, like, what the hell is she doing? Anyway, then I had to set an alarm, thankfully, for what I thought was 5.45, but it was really six. And it took me 20 minutes to like wake up. And then I was like, oh, it's 6.25. So, decided to get up and get at it today. I still need to do some strength training, so that's why my run is so short. But it's literally turning into 30 minutes because I have to uh, get back to where I'm going. Oh well, it's all right. Saturday is done. Strength training and then F1. Then I'll see you at dinner time. Peace out. I completely forgot that I am supposed to be recording a what I eat video. I already took all of my clothes off and put on my pajamas. My shirt's on inside out. And Willie went to go get the food. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to eat for dinner. And then it's Saturday night. So that means that I eat whatever I want. So it was a hard decision this week. Didn't know what I wanted. But Willie has arrived with the food. So I will show you what I will be eating for dinner tonight. This is all Angela's. All of it. Whatever. She even got a juice box. So I got some tacos from Rusty Taco. I got a... Her favorite. Somebody's acting like Tiny Tot right now. Let me show them. <laughs> um, I got a shrimp taco and a fish taco. And I also got two churros. I'm very excited to eat my churros. I'm, I guess, you know, you might want to see it open, but I'm very excited to eat my churros. And I also got some chicken nachos. Oh, they look a little messy today, but chicken nachos. That's what I'm eating for dinner today. Saturdays are usually the days that I just let myself eat whatever I want. And it was just a very, very hard decision today. I almost ended up with pizza, but hey, kind of burnt out on pizza, to be honest, because that's like my pre-race food. And, you know, I just ran a race two weeks ago, so it's like I really don't need it. But that is what is for dinner tonight. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And know that I'm being real with you because I'm going to enjoy these two churros tonight. All in all, it was a pretty good week for me. Um, I didn't struggle with working out. Well, like the actual wanting to work out. Yes, maybe I struggled with that a little bit, but like struggling through my workouts or whatever. Whenever I finished a workout, I always felt like, oh, that felt good. That was awesome. I'm really proud of myself. So that was a nice change to have because I feel like I've been struggling through a lot of workouts lately. Um, I'm not working with my running coach. So like I've come up with my own like schedule until I get back to working with my running coach. I just need a little time off, a little less structure, a little less pressure to have to do these workouts. And so far it's working out good for me, even though I'm basically doing the same you know type of schedule and workouts that she was giving me um I'm just kind of just guiding myself along that way also I managed to stay away from like the added sugars this week so that was really nice there were no extra cookies or extra ice cream or anything like that throughout the week so 
that may also attribute to the fact of why I was feeling better and feeling stronger and all that because let me tell you sugar is a drug once you have it it's hard to like stop craving it so that's kind of what I've been working on and yeah and you got to see like what I eat on a Saturday I basically eat the same stuff I pick from like the same restaurants on a Saturday I allow myself to eat whatever I want and I will like drink alcohol if I want to if I don't want to drink it then I'm not going to force myself to drink it or whatever so it was nice that you got to see me like eat the nachos drink the alcohol and you know have some churros so like that's what Saturday um it's for me and I don't know I, it's probably bad that I look forward to that day but I really do <laughs> um so yeah that was all for this video thank you so much for um watching like comment down below what is your favorite summer meal because you know when it's hot we don't want to eat the same type of foods that we normally do like the idea of shoving meatloaf in my mouth right now would I don't know it wouldn't sit well with me so just comment down below what your favorite summer meal is and maybe we can swap some suggestions out here and don't forget to uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button I'm so close to getting monetized I can almost taste it so share the videos with your friends have them watch every minute of every video and that will help me get monetized y'all goals um anyway thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye